on building the flea circus that I always wanted to build. If you're new here, you should go check out the videos before to see how we got to this point. But if you've been here, then you know that the last one we finished up was zigzag. You'd also know that I believe in the rule of three when it comes to performing. So you always need a beginning, a middle, and an end. So there's going to be three different performing fleas. A first act, middle act, and last act. And within each act there's going to be three routines. A first routine, this middle routine, and the last routine. So we've taken care of zigzag. So the next one on the list is going to be... Well the big air O. That's right, the big air O is the daredevil flea. And he's going to be doing three different acts. Now, two of the acts are pretty standard stuff when it comes to Flea Circus. It's going to be the cannon, shooting out of the cannon, but I'm going to have my spin on it. And there's going to be the diving off into some water. So the diving is going to work off of this pole right here. And since I'm still working on this, this is the hardest part. That's why the big air O is next. Now the diving board is going to move up and down and it jumps into a little thing of water, but there's going to be like a little squirt gun that squirts water out like that. That's pretty standard in all these flea circuses. And the cannon's going to be the middle act, which is pretty standard. But then my special one that's going to fit right here is what this section's for. Well, that's just a little bit of me that's coming in the next video, but there's a lot to do here, so I better get started. I have my pieces already made that I've 3D printed out that's going to make this diving board work. And it's going to be mounted onto this pole. And luckily there's not much to what needs to happen because I'm going to have to jump through hoops because this thing folds right here. And not only that, I have to be able to take this top off with nothing connected to it underneath so I can lay it flat. So there has to be another connection down below and it's right on top of where this pulley for this thing is. But you can see this one's different and that's why there's this little slot here. So this little piece of carbon rod here will go down in here and this is what will be pushed up to make the diving board bend. So if I lower these poles it can actually come down a little bit but it's going to have to be around there. And then in between the wood and here, this channel here is tapered. And I'm going to have a little tapered pin that goes inside here. There'll be a hole down below through the wood so you can push this up. This will push up this. And this is what will push up the diving board. And so this won't be able to come out. And eventually this will be locked in so it can't come out. So the first thing I need to do, I guess, is drill a hole down in here that will allow me to push this thing up. Now I can take this off. So I now should be able to poke up through that hole and make it go up. And there it is. Okay, and it can't come out. See, I'm poking up. There's my poker. Uh, where's that hole again? There it is. So it can't come out. It's, it's locked into place there. And as this comes up, and this will be setting on that, I should be able to poke that up, making that go up. So yes, this carbon fiber rod will sit down onto that little peg. Eventually this will be covered up with a channel. So the other end of the carbon fiber rod is going to be coming up through here. 
and I have a little plate that will get glued onto it like that that will be the pusher and this will also keep the rod from falling out and then there's going to be the little diving board probably a weight probably just this little nut right here will be glued onto it and then it's going to set here and then I'll have the lid like this this will all be glued together eventually then the rod's going to be coming up through here and then this is going to be mounted here all right so I'm going to go ahead and paint these things And this diving board that I'm getting red all over is actually going to go brown. So the paint's pretty dry. I'm going to go ahead and glue this little nut here. Let's see, where should it be? All the way to there, maybe? Go right there. I want to scrape some paint off where it's going to be glued. So it gets a good stick. Now I'm not ready yet, but this is going to go here. So there's the diving board. Boing, 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 boing. But first I got to figure out the length of this rod. Now when I push up from the bottom, <laughs> perfect, just got to glue that in now. I'm going light on the glue so I don't want any kind of spillover. jumps. Perfect. That's the easy part though. So now I just need to make sure it'll lay down, which it should. Oh yeah. Perfect. There's the connection. This can't come out. That can't come out. But then these things will pop up. So it gets back into position and diving board. Where are you at? For the mechanics underneath, I have several pieces printed out for an idea that I have. And I have places here for bearings. Two go there. And one goes here. So here's my crazy contraption here. This is the part that's going to be pushing up through the hole to push this up. And it's going to have another arm here. And these all have bearings. They're all riding on. Little spring here. And now originally it was going to set right here. And then this arm was going to travel to here. And then a lever to push down to activate the diving board. The wood actually comes out to here. So my lever would be extremely long. Didn't like that. So I thought about moving it like this. And then if I finally got to here, my lever, if I put it on backwards, it now doesn't work correctly. It still needs to go that way. So I've decided to add another one here. And so now it's going to come this way. And I have some gears that it's going to connect to. To another rod that comes out this way to my lever so I can push it this direction and it be correct. 
Okay, I dislodged the belts for this thing. And so this needs to go like right there. All right, two bearings go into here. Okay, shaft about there. Okay, it's going to go something like this. So Cut it right there. Another one of these caps is going to go on here. a lot of work for just a little diving board. And this piece is going to cover up this section here. But I printed out these things as well, which I'm going to glue onto it so it looks like little ladder rungs. Now this has to be on there just right. So now it's down to the little tub that he's going to jump into and I've 3D printed this out and if you'll notice three little holes there that's a chamber that comes down down to here and eventually I'm going to have one of these and it'd be like this essentially but it's going to have to be a tube because I can't reach it but eventually the tube will run and it will go here and you'd be able to squirt water out like the splash. And it shoots really far, so it'll squirt on everybody as well. But I also made this piece, which will get attached to here. And what that does is I can drill a hole here that this will pop down. So this is the thickness of the plywood. And so it's still flush on the bottom. It extends the hole that I can plug into, and I have an idea for that. So first I gotta attach this. So now the inside shape of this cavity is that right there. But you can see it's tapered so it won't fit in. And now they have this tube, and this tube's the same size as this section right here. So I want the rest of this to coat around this tube in rubber. So when I poke it in here, the rubber takes the shape inside. So I can plug it in and pop it out. That's the plan, at least. So that means I need to make a mold of that. Uh, so I'm using some Mold Max 30. I'm also going to use CA glue to seal up my tub. Making sure I don't clog my holes there, though. Okay, time to do a little painting. Okay, and it's going to get yellow all the way to my 
squirt section. And now the inside is going to be this blue. A little bit different color blue, lighter. Now I'm going to add white dots. And now I'm going to put a little black dot as well. So I trimmed the mold down and you can see what's going to happen is I need to clog this up with some clay and then I'm going to pour rubber down into there and stick this in and it'll hold in place for this section here that's inside. Let it ooze out. Let it cure. So when I pull it out I should have this little shape right here on this tube. And that will go into the little tub and I'll have a hose connecting these. I also sanded it down a little bit so it'll stick real good. Got some rubber mixed up. You can see here's my piece. It's going to fit in into there. Nice and tight. Need to I can trim this off. So this thing here that looks like something you don't want the doctor to bring in while examining you. Uh that's going to be the squirter. That will get locked in there. Diving, jumping, 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 splash! Well, that's going to be it for this video. I have the cannon all made here and it's painted, the little barrel ready to go. I have some more 3D printed pieces that I'm going to have to mold and cast. And they're going to be for the cannon, but it's also going to have a dual nature and be for the piece that I'm going to be building in the next video. So we'll get to that then. But that's going to do it for this video. Again, I want to thank these people right here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. I appreciate them so much. Could not do it without them. If you want to help me out, please check out the link below. There's also a PayPal donation link as well. Also, I have a store. You can go buy some cool toys or magic props or whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. I will see you in the next video. Diving, jumping, 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 splash! Jump. And splash!